Hello and welcome back to Auto Social UK. So this week I've been so lucky that I've been able to spend some time with this absolutely stunning John Cooper Works convertible thanks to Mini Park Lane in London. And I was going to do like a standard review this weekend but the sun is shining and it's such a nice week and I thought actually why don't I just enjoy the Mini convertible and bring you along for the ride. So that's what I plan to do. If you wanted to see a more standard review of the car then I'm going to be doing one of those over on the Mini Park Lane YouTube channel so i'll pop the details in the description box and that video should be up shortly but let's go enjoy the sun So before we go for a drive, let's just admire this absolutely stunning car. So this is the John Cooper Works convertible, which is now in its third generation. And it did receive a facelift in 2018, which got you the classic Union Jack taillights. So this car's actually finished in white silver. There's 11 other color variations. So there's so much to choose from, but I mean, the white silver just looks amazing, especially on a sunny day and contrasted with the black roof and also these john cooper works bonnet stripes so there are a few other options you can have for bonnet stripes and wing mirrors as well so there's a few different colors so you can customize it but i mean i think they've done pretty damn well with the looks of this car it just looks amazing and all the colors tie in because obviously you've got the john cooper works badge on the front with the red in the bonnet stripe and then all of the white silver and the black accents it just looks amazing and um, this car does actually come with 17 inch alloy wheels as standard and they're a sort of a gloss black but this car actually has um, a dual colour cup spoke alloy wheels and these are 18 inch which look amazing obviously contrasted with the red John Cooper Works brake calipers. The only thing I would say is that the John Cooper Works convertible is already a pretty hard drive so the 18 inch alloy wheels do then make it harder. I think if I was living with this car long term I probably would stick with the 17 inch gloss black but I mean let's not lie these look absolutely amazing. So coming around to the rear of the car, it does look just as aggressive, as good as the front. You've obviously got a pair of twin tailpipes. In the boot, there's actually a reasonable amount of space. I've been quite surprised. Um, I have seen that you can stand up your carry-on suitcases side by side and you can fit a fair amount in there. Obviously the only issue is that the, um, the load entrance is actually quite low, but I mean, for a general everyday car you can fit your bags your shopping there's a fair bit you can fit in there and if you needed to fit any more then you could always use the back seats but overall i've actually been pleasantly surprised at that and i have had the roof down the whole time so it does grow slightly when you've got the roof up obviously i can imagine everybody is thinking i just want to hear what it sounds like so let's start her up So I've just got back from a lovely evening drive with the convertible. Um, so we took it down to Alton Waters um, near Ipswich um, and then also drove it around there. Took some footage underneath the Orwell Bridge. Um, so I'll insert those clips now. And one thing you may know is, yes, we did get caught in a downpour. Um, it wasn't too much of an issue. We had to quickly come off of the A12 and whiz the roof up. Luckily, the roof will go up, up to um, 20 miles per hour. You can do the roof and it does it pretty quickly as well. And one thing I was really, really impressed with with the mini um, John Cooper Works convertible is even though we did get a little bit wet inside, there was no steaming up. So um, even though obviously the roof was wet and we obviously put that back up um, and us inside, we actually had the temperature turned up pretty high as well. There was absolutely no steaming up inside. So I was really impressed with that. But yeah, it's been a fun evening. I'm all packed up and ready to go on a picnic. Got my little picnic bag. And of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is take down the roof. So the roof actually works in two different stages. So the first stage is ultimately like a panoramic sunroof. Um, you can do this at any speeds and then the second stage obviously the full roof this whole process takes 18 seconds and it can be done up to speeds of 20 miles per hour windows up and we're ready to go 
great bit of additional spec that this car has is wireless charging in the armrest. So my iPhone 11 that I'm currently recording on, that will fit in the armrest, which is fine. However, the iPhone XS Max, even if I took the case off, is too big. So that's a little bit annoying, but luckily this is the one that I use for my navigation anyway. But yeah, it's probably something to bear in mind if you're gonna spec it up with the um, wireless charging, that if you're one of these people, which I know I am, that loves the biggest phone that you can get, it's not actually gonna fit. Just need to sort out the navigation. So this car does have the standard mini navigation, but it does also have Apple CarPlay, and I'll always prefer to use this. And I'll also, quite often when I'm driving, I'll use my Siri. So, hey Siri, get me directions to Wivenhoe. Getting directions to Wivenhoe, Colchester. I just find this loads simpler. I can't believe I forgot that most important stage. That's like number one rule of earning a convertible. Always remember to put your hair up. Wind noise is pretty reserved. You can buy a wind deflector to go in the rear, um, but to be honest, I don't see this as being an essential, to be honest. Under the bonnet of the John Cooper Works is a two litre, four cylinder turbocharged petrol engine. And that produces around 228 brake horsepower and I think 236 newton meters of torque. So it is the same petrol engine that you put in the Cooper S, but then it has been tweaked slightly to get that better performance. And I didn't really know if I'd feel a difference. Um, the Cooper S has around 198 brake horsepower and then this with 226. So it's not an enormous amount, but you really do feel it. This car's pretty impressive. And it might also be that that sound of the exhaust is also improved and it slightly plays with your mind. Next up for making the most of the mini convertible, I'm off to the drive-in cinema. So I've got my blankets at the ready, got the snacks in my bag, and yeah, hopefully I can bring you along for the drive as well. One of my favorite features has to be being able to undo the roof with the key fob. So if you hold down the unlock button and keep holding and once again for the whole roof and for me this whole little fact just makes life with the mini convertible so simple right let's go so first of all, we just got to get all linked up to the radio. So we want to go on radio settings, FM, across to manual search. And then what was it? 80, 87.5. 87 would like to know like me how to turn off this central console light so if you go into my mini um, and then system settings and then from there to displays and then from displays central display and then all you've got to do I know that it's a bit confusing it says brightness at night which makes you think if you turn that down it will turn it off but you just need to untick the whole lot Ta -da! and now we can watch the film without being distracted by the light Hey buddy, how are you doing? I'm good. I feel I'm so much more relaxed. Thank you, Helen. I just feel like I'm excited and I feel relaxed and I'm ready to party <laughs> with the best of them. I'm gonna go down to the river. <laughs> wow, it looks like somebody's really relaxing now. Okay, so I've just finished work and now I'm off to London to drop back off the JCW. Um, looks like I'm going to be sitting in a lot of traffic to London. I have put the car in green mode 
um, to try and save on a little bit of fuel because I haven't got a huge amount left. Um, that's saying that we've gained 3.9 miles by driving economically. Um, and looking on the trip computer, I'm sitting at around just just shy of the 40 miles per gallon. So it definitely does make a difference using green. I, I don't like green. Um, I find it, I know the whole point of it is to be unresponsive, but I do find it very unresponsive. Um, I would prefer to use neutral, but because I'm trying to really reserve fuel, I am gonna use it just for now. But of course, if I was to own this car long term, then I'm gonna wanna drive it in sport. I'm gonna wanna drive it a little bit quicker. So I'm not far away from Mini Park Lane now and um, I'm going to kind of cut the video off here because I'm not a particularly confident London driver and it's about to get a little bit busier and I need to pay a little more attention. But thank you so much for watching this video. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time with the John Cooper Works. It's been a hell of a car and everybody that's come and joined me and had a drive in this car has just absolutely loved it. So thank you so much for Mini Park Lane for obviously lending me the car. If you wanted any more information on the uh, John Cooper Works, then I'll put all of their details in the description box below. But if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It was a new style of video, a little bit more of a vlog. Um, and I did find it pretty difficult actually. It's hard to kind of keep up always videoing different things. So I'm really sorry if this didn't come out particularly well, but we can always try this format again um, and see if we can get it a little bit better next time. But yeah, please give this video a massive thumbs up and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until